Good evening, or good afternoon, or good morning, depending on where you are or when you're watching this. It's all about to get a little bit Monty Python, because I'm about to stick this up that. Right, we've all, or maybe not all of us, but most of us have heard of bacon chicken. Tonight, we're going to make pineapple stand chicken. Okay, so, let's scooch this away, and let's take you through it. So, step one. Make a nice flat base so the burger will stand up. Step two, cut off the head. Give it to the wife as a nice little present, a little token of your love. Or husband, depending. Right, so what we've got is there we've got the basis. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make about an inch up. I'm going to go about an inch in and I'm going to... I'm gonna work it, baby. Work it, work it. See the rotation? Ooh. Let's see if it's flawless. Or more practice required. Okay, so. About an inch in all the way around. Now, I need to make a stand, a pillar, from the centre of this that's going to go into the chicken. So what you can do is, I don't want to touch it now because I don't want to get the raw uh, chicken transferred onto the pineapple. Um, if you put your fingers um, into uh, the, uh, to, to, to the to the neck cavity, you can get a gauge for how wide it is. So on this one, it is actually quite, quite tight. It's quite a small bird, so I'm probably going to be going for about an inch. So... I'm just going to chop down and that will connect up nicely with the inch that we went in. One hopes. See, that's come off there. Nice. Look at that. That was nearly perfect. Just like me, so the wife says. Right, you can keep all these, you can put cinnamon on them, you can chop them up, you can put all kinds of wonderful bits of sugar, put them in rum, put them on the barbecue, but we ain't doing that tonight, so let's get rid of those, put those on one side. So there we have exhibit A, and now what I'm going to do is plonk this little rascal. I hope it fits. Come on, tease, there we go, perfect. Look at that, that's beautiful, a thing of beauty. Happy with that? Okay, let's get the barbecue stoked up. Well, it's already getting stoked up. Let's get this little rascal on. Okay, so what have we got going on that's worthy of note here? Well, we're not using the baskets, but I've put all the coals around the edges so there's no heat coming from directly underneath which is what we won't want. So I'm going to make a light spray of some grape oil, put a little bit of my two to one pepper to salt ratio on there and let's lock it up. Oh, and that little spiky thing, that's a metre plus thermometer. So I'm going to go into my little app. I'm going to punch in, yeah, I'm cooking chicken, tell me when it's done. And then it pings up and says, yep, it's done. Take me out, let, let me rest and gobble me up. So let's do it. So we shall be calling this drunk pineapple stand chicken. Why is that, you might ask? Well, it's because the bugger keeps falling over because I didn't cut the base correctly. Right, let's fix it. <laughs> well, I fixed it and I can't believe it, but I think it's actually added something to it because now we've got some beautiful sear patterns in that breast. But it's an interesting solve because what I did is I just, from some, some of the leftover pineapple, made some slithers, popped them underneath the front, let that be a lesson to ye. And there we have it. A little happy accident. I might actually bring that into my normal cooking pattern for these beer can chickens though, because I really like that. All about the sear. Let's cut it up and see what we got. Booyah! Now don't forget, you like what you see, you like it, subscribe to it, share it with all your barbecue buddies. <laughs>